Hi there and welcome to Continuing the Conversation. Today we're talking about prayer in creation. I'd like to share this scripture with you from Genesis chapter 1. God blessed them and God said to them, to Adam and Eve, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, see, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit, you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has breath, of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so, God saw everything that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. And I just want you to keep that in mind as we uh, continue carrying on the conversation with Becky Lines, our TM Families Worker. And I hope you enjoy the conversation. I hope you understand that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. And this creation God has put us in is a beautiful place and should always redirect our attention to the one who made it. Enjoy. Hello, Becky. Hello. And, um, thank you for coming along um, to have another conversation with me today. And we are in um, this beautiful church, Holy Trinity Penhons, one of the five churches in the cl cluster. Um, and the reason why I thought it would be great to have this chat with you here today um, is number one, over the summer holiday, you've been doing a lot of creative workshops um, with the children in this particular venue and this particular church, it's, it's quite an inspirational place. Um, and since we are in the season of creation and looking um, at, at the God who created yeah. all things, I thought this would be an ideal location um, for us to talk because I don't know how you feel, Becky, but uh, when I walk into this church, um, I am amazed at the creativity that is yeah. everywhere. It's incredible, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's one of the most beautiful churches. Not to take anything from any of the others, but the fact that it was created in the glory of God mm. and the fact that when I came in here, it was pointed out to me that it was beautified, yeah. which is a wonderful word, mm. with people's skills, with the creation that they were blessed with mm. and for their God. And that was their way to worship, was to use the skills that they had. That's right. And, I think, and it comes out in so many ways. And that's what we focused on in the Summer Holiday Club. Mm. was actually looking, we started by the children just looking at the church and spending time looking for the different things and they really enjoyed that but also they also found out that there was more than you can even imagine when you first look mm. and things that are carved and things that are made of stone, things that are the glory of the windows, there's the beautiful little creatures, you know, next week we're doing something about dragons because there were some dragons oh, wow. carved yeah, and, yeah. and we're using those figures and we're using the plants that are at the end and there's just so much and Philip Churchwarden is just wonderful with his knowledge of it and inspiring the children too, which is also great. I mean, we even, they did decorated tiles. You know, they've, wow. We went outside and we looked at what happens outside as well because the children just took it in and they were just, they took hours really just looking. Just in awe. Yeah, which mm -hmm. is wonderful, wonderful. Well, that, that's exactly, I mean, I'm a child at heart, I don't know about you, Becky, mm. but um, when I vis visited first time okay. um, and I looked in, you know, I, I studied art at A-level and <clears throat> walking in here, all I wanted to do was to just touch the wood yeah. And, and look at all the stories here. And then I come and I'd have a look at the altar and I was just amazed at how it just, it's inspirational. It is. And, and that's just, I think, the way God intended it. Yeah. Even in nature, even in natural creation, mm -hmm. is that he wanted to show something of himself, yeah. something of his glory um, in, in the trees, in the sky, yeah. you know, but also he put a creative ability inside of us. Yes, as a creator God. As a creator God, yeah. that we can give back to him. Yeah. 
um, which is really, so you just get a sense in this place that you come in and you just, in awe. Yeah. Um, and it's full of stories, isn't it? I had a child right. this week, a child, she, she just went to this place and she said, oh, can we talk about that picture? And she said, well, why is that person there? And, and what's going on? And, mm. and who do you think that is? And I was like, I wonder who you think it is. And then she had a real conversation and we just wow. stood there discussing mm. that picture. And that's one thing. And then if you were a child sitting here and there's a sermon going on, you'd not be really bored, are you? No, you're <laughs> not. <laughs> around, looking around. And they could be given all of the apostles' yeah. names and you've probably got little stories to tell about them. <laughs> yeah, and, this you know, is the thing. I, I forgot all about these. Um, yeah. Yeah, you won't see it on the camera, but just, just as you're walking up the steps yeah. towards the altar, you've got the saints. Um, on the wood here. I, I forgot all about these these yeah. little guys. So much detail. Beautiful. So much detail. If you just had one of those, you'd be like, oh, that's amazing. And yet, it's all around you, isn't mm. it? Mm. And I just, and I'm looking for your favourite flower. I love passion flowers, and I know that on one of these is a passion flower. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know, there's all the different ones to look for. Yeah. And it's just, oh, I love it. And you want to bring people in and point it out to them. That's you get right. excited, yeah, don't you? You do. To show them what's going on there. Yeah. I think it just stirs your heart as well. It really lifts you and it, and it makes you want to thank God. Yeah. Um, you know, with all the bad news that's going on and, and you know, we, we watch the BBC mm. and, you know, and it's really oppressive. And mm. then to be able to come out and just walk nature or come yeah. into a place like this and appreciate the creativity, mm. um, it does, it, it, it points you to yeah. God. Yeah. Um, and, and that's kind of the conversation that I wanted to have is that, you know, Becky, for you, how, how do you use creation in, in your prayer life? Um, well, it is central to my prayer life. I think when you say about going out into nature, that's one of the main things. So I just start my, my week on a Monday morning. We start with a walk somewhere and hopefully I get joined by some families quite often, you know, quite a few toddlers. And we, we go so slowly because we go at toddler pace. Mm -hmm. And that opens your eyes. You know, this week we, we found a slug and we spent so long just studying this slug yeah. and thinking about where he was going and seeing him as part of creation mm -hmm. instead of something squirmy and a bit yucky. Yeah. Um, yeah. You have your eyes opened. That's my joy. You have your eyes opened by children to see things as God sees them. Mm -hmm. And it is only us at some other point that we do that to them. We take that away from them. We yeah. steal that glory of God from our children by saying spiders are scary or we don't want a mouse in our house or whatever it is, they don't see that. And I just, I'm absolutely in awe of children and I, I am taken back to that, that spark, mm. that love of what God's given us. You know, they can literally watch a leaf fall from the tree and you stand there with them and they're seeing that for the first time mm. and you're like, Gosh, yes, it is amazing. And I can praise God because of that. And when we hold an acorn and we know that in that acorn is an oak tree mm -hmm. that then create, can create more. And it's there. Everything is there That's about right. it. And yeah. I mean, that I can use to praise God. So I start my week by praising God outdoors. And that's a wonderful thing for me. And whatever the weather and I feel better for it, mm. you know. And if I possibly can, wherever I'm going, I will walk there because I spend that time just talking with God on my way and mm. just having a conversation. And sometimes I'm not noticing everything around me until I'm with the children and then they start pointing yeah. things out. And I'm Thank like, God for the children. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I get to put on my wellies and wade through a stream and go through a field and watch it change as the seasons change. Mm. And that's, that's a fantastic thing. And then we also use creativity in those children that are coming to clubs and things, and maybe they don't know anything about church, maybe they don't know anything about God, but they are creative beings again. Mm. And so I love to spend time preparing the materials for them. It's not a chore. People say to me, oh, you're very organized, but it's not a chore for me. That is part of my prayer time mm. is gathering the right materials, is making examples if that's a thing or just allowing them to do it in their own way. Yeah. And the little children just using their hand prints and paint or the mums saying, oh, actually, I quite like to be creative. So this week the mums made some wreaths at the club because they can do it too. It's yeah. not about just letting your children do that stuff and they don't get that chance. No. And they're then being allowed to be that creative being. Mm -hmm. They're being allowed 
to worship in the real way because they're they're not focusing on everything else going around them they're just allowed to focus on creating that thing and what will they use and what does that choice mean and where did that come from and then we have conversations about that well, as a mother i can completely connect with that <laughs> because you can just get so busy with yeah. with life and yeah. i've got to feed my kids i've got to do this that you actually forget the joy of just sitting down with your children yeah. um, and you know we, we tried to make an effort of doing that this weekend gone is just sitting down and playing the game with them and mm. not worrying about i've got to cook yeah. and all that other stuff just sitting and playing and being with them because actually god's in that yeah and and we it's we're so quick to to forget that yeah and yeah. and then it, it becomes an irritant everything is an irritant like i, I remember um <clears throat> even when i was in high school i used to have to take a walk from uh my house to school it was a beautiful walk, walk. Um, we lived in wales and we had to walk i, I had to walk past Tradiga park which is is quite a a famous park in that area um and I remember I used, I used to look around um, and, and look at the trees were so high and I used to look at the trees and I used to talk to God on my way mm. and um, almost, you know, that, that, get, that gets robbed from you the older you get and the more engrossed you have to get in mm. coursework or in paid employment mm. or in just organising life yeah. um, and it gets stolen from you. So I actually... We need creation. We, we need um, these moments where we, rem we remind ourselves that actually we live in a world created by an awesome God. Yeah. Um, and when we can just stop and look, mm -hmm. it, it, it leaves us in awe. Yeah. Um, and, it, and it inspires us to talk, talk to yeah. God, yeah. which is what prayer is, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, I, think, I don't know, I think a lot of people have their creation stolen from them as well by being told that they're being judged. Like teachers will say, well, you went outside the lines with that colouring or you didn't, you're not really good enough to do GCSE or mm. whatever else. And, and then you think, well, I'm not very creative then. And I feel that I think, oh, well, I look, you know, I can't arrange flowers. I can't carve wood. I can't do these things. And so in the eyes of the world, I'm not creative. But in God's eyes, I am. I can do it to my own ability. Right. And I just, I am in awe of people who can do these things beautifully and do them well. Mm. But I also know that God values what I can do. That's right. And the way that I can do it. And I think that's something we've got to be really aware of as adults, that we judge far too much. Mm. When a child shows us their picture, we say whether it's good or bad. We, you know, I've heard people say, oh, the sky's blue when a child's done it red but in that child's head that sky is red and what does it matter mm. you know why are we so judgmental that we actually stifle creativity mm. yeah. yeah you're right we've it's, got to be very careful you're so of that. right if god if god's mm. made made us to be creative he hasn't made who the world has labeled an artist to be mm. creative he's labeled all of us yeah. in our own way to be creative whether if that means we we write poetry mm. or we write a story or we draw or we paint, yeah. or we just make, or we cook. And we should do it not to be validated no, as well. No, it's, it's just, just the do glory it. of God. Yeah. We do it, out of, yeah. and, and there should be joy that yeah. comes from that. Whether you're, you know, some people are gifted with being able to clean, aren't they? And some people are gifted with, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's so many things, yeah. aren't they? And yeah. you just need to see that actually that is my gift. That's right. And it's not my chore, it's something no. I'm able to do, you know. Yeah. And I think... Also, maybe totally off tangent here, but my favourite way to pray and my favourite part of creation is pebbles. Yeah. Absolutely. My house is full of them, unfortunately. Because <laughs> I cannot pick up a pebble and not be in awe of the age of that pebble, the fact that it has come out of this created yeah, earth. That's right. It's incredible. And the smoothness and the, everyone is unique and the patterns on them. And I am so inspired by pebbles. Mm. I just... Well, that, that's uh, amazing if you say that, because then uh, we're doing a, a cafe church in All Saints in Tuckingville. Um, and this week we're going to be using pebbles. And so I had the privilege of mm. going to, I think I, I chose to go to Godrevy because um, it's just full of pebbles. Yeah. And actually just taking time to just mm. walk over those pebbles. Oh, and I'm going to use a pebble. Oh, 
Which one should I choose? Mm. Oh, I like that one. Oh no, maybe they won't be able to. Oh, that, but that's so good. So I took that one for myself. And, and you feel bad if you drop it. Yeah. Like, oh, where was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and but then mm. I just sat on those pebbles and mm. I watched the sea. And it was yeah. a, it was a, it wasn't a particularly sunny day. Um, and the the waves were roaring, and I just sat and just there. I was just sat sat in awe, mm. thinking. Oh, all these ways yeah. and I'm like wow so beyond such a blessing such a blessing to live in Cornwall and have all those things accessible yeah. uh, to you and and I pray I never take that for granted actually I really do and uh, the other thing I was thinking about just before we wrap up um was it just brings me back to um the Garden of Eden and how God walked with Adam and Eve in that garden have just walked mm. with them like a you know a yeah. friend yeah. and they just appreciate the tree you can just imagine them walking and feeling the grass under their feet because they don't have shoes mm. and um you know just just touching the trees and appreciating the fruit yeah and and seeing it in its perfection mm. um and doing that journey with god and thinking the god who created that came down and walked with his creation and that's just beautiful. That amazing, and that, that for me summarizes and, and depicts exactly how God wants us to be with him. He's a friend. Yeah. He wants us to relate to him in creation. Yeah. And um, I think it's really important for us to remember that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank it's you for lovely. coming and it's such a chat. pleasure being here, isn't it? Oh, it really are, is. Yeah. It's really uplifting. Yeah. I could stay here and work if I could. Um, but Becky, um, I know that um, you've recorded a prayer for us, but could we just could we just pray for people of Penpons yeah. just as we're here? I think we should. Um, yeah. yeah, please yeah. do. Our oh, Lord, we just thank you so much for the wonderful gift for people of Penpons, yes, for the Lord. welcome that we feel every time we walk through these doors. Mm. Even Lord, when there isn't anyone here, we feel it in the bones of this place. Mm. In the fabric of this place we actually feel that welcome and that warmth and that love those who live in this village who don't know this secret church lord that the doors will be open to them that they will yes. walk through and that they will also feel your presence here yes. and that, lord as we walk through the woodlands that surround this place as we go down by the rivers as we walk even under the railway bridge that we can feel that you are walking with us yes. Lord, we thank you for each and every person that has ever worshipped in this place. For the for the person that had, Lord, I don't know his name, but the, the vicar that began to beautify mm. this place and everybody who used their skills and everybody who's maintained the place ever since then, from the people who clean it and keep it looking as beautiful as it is, to those who had the vision to put on the extension, to those who offer hospitality to others. Lord, we know that you have truly blessed this place and continue to bless it and will bring more people to know the loving care that they will have if they walk into this wonderful building. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen.
Father God, in the place where we live, we are witnessing the fruits of your harvest. We see tractors ploughing. We see new shoots going in. We see the gathering of all the crops that were put in in the spring. Tomatoes are ripening in our gardens. Pumpkins are growing fat, ready for next month. There's an abundance of fruit and vegetables. Your creation is wonderful. Father, we thank you for the world that you've given us. It is an incredible world. The part of the world that we know, this Camborne, this place, this area, so many people doing so many things, so many people caring for other people, so many people sowing their crops ready to be harvested, so many people reaping the rewards of their hard work, and so many others with nothing. Father, we ask that you give us generous hearts, that we can share everything that we have, everything that has been given by you. We have nothing without you, Lord, absolutely nothing. As we look out, I can see the town of Camborne. I can see the sea in the distance, knowing that it's full of life. Life that sustains humans. For those who will, there is meat, there is fish. For others, there are vegetables, there are grains. You have given enough for all. And yet, we are never generous enough to share it. We know that within this world that you have created, there are those who do not have enough. There are those who today will die because they are starving. Oh, Father, open our hearts. Help us to be that generous spirit, that bread of life that you have promised to be when you came into this world to be and to live amongst us, to teach us how to live. We see the scars that man has made because he feels he is in charge of this world. But you, you have created this world. You have given it to us. Father, I can smell my dinner cooking. I know that my family are well fed. I know that I have enough in my cupboards. I know that all that you have created has given me an absolute abundance. Help me to have a generosity, to share what I have with others. Lord, I pray for the church in Camborne, every church, every denomination, every Christian person, every person who worships you as their Lord and their God, that they can come together, that they can work together, that they can show all the people, all the people who are looking for something, that what they're looking for is you. Oh Lord, you teach us how to pray. You tell us what to do. You give us a blueprint for our lives. We ask that we can reach out to all those who are seeking to see what life will give to them. Those who think that through their own work they can make it but look for nothing beyond this world. Those who in this world are struggling and know that they do not have enough. Father, I can see the sun setting on another day, another day that has been a beautiful day, 
a day when the people of this town have been blessed and yet we know that there are people there who are suffering, people who need your love and your comfort. Help us to bring that to them in your name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Trinity Pampons, for allowing us to have that conversation in your beautiful church. What an inspiration. So much creativity is all around, outside and within. And I just want to encourage anyone who's been listening today, go for a prayer walk if you can. See God in creation. See God in other people's gifting and how they create things. God is a creating God and he made us to be creative. God bless you and we will see you next time.